Hello and welcome back to another episode here on CapTech. Today we're going to examine the Kappelman curse. I don't want to come off like I'm complaining. It's not like my family lives in a van down by the river or anything. We're all healthy and whatnot. Um, but I think to say that we haven't had what would be known as a generational curse um, would be just understating it. Um, it's gone on for generations, really. Um, my mom, as a kid, was walking uh, her dog while her dad, while her dog was shot. Um, my uh, grandfather on the other side was hit uh, hit by a truck and killed outside of a co-op in a small town of Wisconsin, where there was probably only you know cars you could count on one hand anyway. Um, my mother fall out, fell off the stage at her own daughter's wedding. I mean, the curse is, has been going on for a long time, but I think it most uh, poignantly impacts my father and I and the, um, the male bloodline. And here's to hoping that it doesn't impact uh, Austin, my uh, female heir. The curse most poignantly affects my father, um, here you see him um, you know, trying to work with a computer. I, um, I, I think that it's beyond just having the weirdest computer problems in the history of mankind, though. Um, I'm going to um, kind of go into uh, an expose and give you a little more detail on his bad luck. So this first one's more my fault. We're headed down to Cozumel, Mexico, the Yucatan, and... Customs um, in Mexico, the Mexican Immigration Police, uh, detained me for having a uh, passport slightly eaten by a dog. The old man can't keep his mouth shut and makes conversation with him, and we're there uh, for hours. Now, that's technically my fault, and I am a Kaplan and fall victim to the curse, but, you know, I don't think there'd be a curse if it wasn't handed to me from my dad. So let's blame him too. Plus, he was on the trip, and there is power in the curse. You know, the, the curse is more powerful when there's mul when there's multiple Kaplmans together. Ed Kaplman's been cursed all his life. Favorite baseball team: 1969 Cubs, um, the most cursed team in history. We went to um, the Fog Bowl, the longest game in NFL history from a clock perspective record was recently broken but until recently um and a delayed game at uh, wrigley field due to a tornado warning now any of these um wouldn't be that scary by itself but these are all like once in a generation once in a lifetime type events and the odds that we would be at all of these quote unquote sports catastrophes um seems very unlikely in the absence of a curse Right now, the old man's saying, Josh, that's true, but hardly evidence of a curse. But Dad, I say to you, look at this boat ride that resulted in your broken uh, wrist or this canoe ride on a three-foot deep river um, that resulted in your broken tailbone. Who else could encounter that kind of trouble out there? Then, Dad, you say, Josh, everybody has broken bones. We're all human. Okay. Remember when you were driving through Oglesby, Illinois, a friendly little small town, and decided to wave at the police, and they pulled you over and gave you a ticket? Curse! The curse is further evidenced by our cross-country move. Two Kappelmans in one place, one flat tire in a moving truck. How about multiple Kappelmans trying to go on an out-of-country destination wedding, and it's the only Bahamian Air pilot strike? Um, that delays everybody. I mean, it's just more evidence of multiple Kaplmans in one place leading to bad things, mostly because of Ed Kaplman. Anyway, um, hope I don't pass too much of it on to my daughter. Love you, Dad. To my sub uh, subscribers, please comment, like, share the video. People that are watching it uh, and haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. It's uh, hard being a one-man show. Thank you.